so this made me a bit of a faster learner in foreign language. One of the ways that I try to treat the foreign language as it is, is Hi friends, in this video we're talking about one of the greatest advices that I've got for language learning. It is to stop translating and treat your foreign language as it is, unless you want to become a translator or interpreter. I'm going to break this video into three parts. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the common myth of translation when we learn a foreign language. Secondly, I'm going to discuss why it could be inefficient to translate every word. And lastly, I'm going to talk about how treating the foreign language as it is has been helping me and providing my method to do it. Let's just dive right in. We often have a tendency to translate everything when we are learning a new language. I mean translating our target language into our native language. The reason is quite straightforward, right? It helps us better understand what the foreign language means. Yeah, to some extent, I agree with this. It does help, but only in the beginning. I think it's sort of a myth that a new language should be absorbed by translating it into our native language. The biggest reason for that is because, in most cases, our target language is entirely different from our native language. Each language is built based around this culture, history, and context. Therefore, if we keep relying on translating our target language into our native language, I think it's going to get harder for us to capture the essence of the foreign language. In other words, in the context of learning a foreign language, translation is a way in which we see the foreign language through the lens of our native language. I think this is going to create a misunderstanding within ourselves that the essence of a foreign language should be based around our native values, including our culture and context. I think this is one of the reasons why language learning requires lifelong effort. There is simply so much behind the language. Secondly, let's talk about why it could be inefficient to translate everything when we're learning a foreign language. Many language learners might believe that they will better understand the foreign language if they translate every phrase or word into their native language. But this approach could be quite deceptive in terms of our language learning itself as well as our learning journey. The first reason for that is translation slows you down. I think it is important to slow down when you're a beginner and translation can be an effective learning technique at that level. But in the long run, it may disturb your learning process. It is because the process of translation is generally slow, and every language has different syntax and grammar. Even if it takes like a millisecond in your head, it really adds up at the end and is going to consume you in the long run. When you advance to intermediate and particularly advanced level, you'll notice that. Because of their distinct context and cultures, direct translations don't always work especially when you come across slangs. If you are a fan of translation, it might be fine to slow down when you're reading and writing because you're doing them mostly alone and you can think of that as like practice and stuff. But conversation is different. Conversation is a spontaneous process that involves speaking and listening. And here, if we rely heavily on translation, it'll interfere with the spontaneity and naturalness because the milliseconds to seconds of translation will be always in the way. Therefore, it might be harder for you to gain fluency if you tend to translate everything. And the reason number two for that is because translation might limit the horizon of your language learning. I know that everybody has different reasons and goals learning a foreign language. But in a big picture, those reasons and goals might be converging into learning a foreign culture and context. This could be accomplished in the forms of making foreign friends, watching a series, and reading a book and listening to a pop song in a foreign language. All of these examples have to do with learning a foreign culture and context. But if we engage in those activities through the lenses of our native culture, it may be limit our understanding of the foreign culture simply because they are different. And the third reason for that is because translation might limit diversifying your identity. I'm a big fan of diversifying my identity. I strongly believe that learning a new language is a great way to diversify one's identity because we're creating one more self or identity when we're learning a new language, especially around the upper intermediate or advanced level. This simply goes back to the fact that the language contains its culture and context. Therefore, we need to switch our brains into those cultures and contexts when we speak the foreign language. 
On this front, I think translation hinders the diversification because we're still wearing the lenses of our home culture and context when we actually use the language. From my own experience, diversifying my identity is such a formative way to grow as a person. And this feeling sometimes gives me a sense of liberation. So I mostly attribute it to my habit of not translating everything when I learn a new foreign language. So this brings us to the final chapter of this video, which is how it has been helping me and the way in which I treat the foreign language as it is. Firstly, treating the foreign language as it is has been helping me become a bit of a faster learner. I mean, compared to when I used to translate everything into my native language back at school. In the beginning, it probably requires extra effort and a bit more training. But when I got used to it, it didn't feel like working in a foreign language is that consuming. Secondly, it has also been helping me in spontaneous situations such as during conversation and in discussion-based classes. Thirdly, it has inspired me to dive deeper into the language. Thinking in that language in my head instead of in my native language made me more curious about my target language. I often ask myself questions like what make them want to say this and what is the context behind this phrase. And here is one of my ways in which I treat the foreign language as it is. I like to use a dictionary that explains the meaning of vocabs in my target language instead of my native language. For example, when I learn English, I like to use this kind of dictionary that is English English dictionary instead of using a English to Korean dictionary. One good thing about this method is that these dictionaries expand the context of the vocab in the target language. More importantly, this really helps when I actually have to use the phrases or words in my real life. It came to me quite recently, but among the words that I have memorized so far, when I learn the vocabs like this, they tend to linger in my memory for the longer time. It might take a bit of extra time and it might not be the most efficient way to study vocabs if you have a vocab test tomorrow, but in the long run, it really helps. If you're interested, give it a try. So there you have it, one of the greatest advices that I've got for language learning, which is to stop translating and treat the language as it is. So in today's video, I told you about where I stand on whether or not to translate our target language into our native language. Where do you stand on that? And which way do you think is more helpful to learn a foreign language? And what advice have you received for learning a foreign language? Leave it down in the comment section below. I am very active in the comment section, so I would love to know what you got. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as I'm going to post videos like this, language learning, effective learning techniques, studying abroad, and lifelong learning. If you want to hear more about language learning from me, you might want to check out this video over here where I talk about the best language learning habits. I hope to see you there and thanks for watching. Bye bye.